Welcome to Puyvidal, a 13th century chateau nestled in the heart of the Charente. Join my mother, my father, my sister, my fiance, and I, an American family, as we move from New York City to California to the southwest of France. This is Dreaming of a Chateau. This July at Chateau de Puyvidal has been fun, busy, stressful, and full of forward momentum. We're planning a lot of really incredible programming for next year. We're welcoming Chateau Life guests. All while we're doing refurbishments and improvements for our September workshop this year and getting into lots of DIY projects all over the chateau that are a constant state of affairs here in a 800 year old building. And thankfully we still have time to take breaks, get out, visit restaurants, visit local events and make new friends. So life is sweet here in Southwest France and we can't wait to share it with you. Hello! We are so excited because today is Wednesday. We just came. July 5th. We just, uh, no, we just didn't come from anywhere. We're here at the office. We just launched our first workshop for next year. Yay! So we're incredibly excited. We've been holding this close to our hearts because we had the wonderful Peter Keegan come about six in May six weeks ago right at the same time as his workshop is going to be next year so yeah. we can see exactly the weather the flowers the light the time of year which is very important to painters yeah and uh he visited and we scoped out different painting locations and we got to know each other and we filmed a lot of beautiful footage to share with all of you to launch the workshop yeah and we've had to keep it very secret which has been hard because all of the images are so beautiful and the theme is so beautiful. What could be better than Impressionism here in the southwest of France? It's literally where so many of the French Impressionists painted and that you really can tell that in the quality of light and color in so many great Impressionist art. So it's just going to be a joy to accommodate. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yes, are you excited? Aren't you excited to accommodate painters outside painting plein air in the gardens of Puy Vidal in early summer, which is beautiful. If you don't like the heat, I highly recommend coming at that time of year because it's really fresh and cool and easy to stay outside for hours and hours. This is going to be a really great one, whether you're a beginner or an advanced painter, yeah. to just really be re-inspired by Impressionism and really make it your own during this week. Good morning. Good morning. Look who's here already. 8 a.m., 9 a.m. <laughs> you guys are the early crew. Yeah, let's go say hi. Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Oh How are my you? goodness. How's it going? Oh, <gasps> oh that's beautiful. I got up at 6 a.m. this morning because the sun was out and oh, I, no. I was woke up by the bird song, so I got up. And I was just taken all around this whole site. I just couldn't wait to get out there and, and photograph it and experience it. And I wanted to capture something of the chateau and the morning light here was glorious because it's casting these great cool shadows on the lawn. You've got the warm light and I love how you've got the beautiful, cool, cold, purple blue of the building yeah. and how that contrasts nicely with these uh, yellowy greens. So I quickly set up the easel and thought, let's, let's get started. So, this At is... six in the morning? Yeah, yeah, well, I, I had breakfast, I had a quick quick pit stop and, and got this started. So oh this, is the, this is what we call a first pass. Mm. So I've probably spent about 45 minutes or so on this, just understanding where the main wow. shapes are, wow. the main color and the main color relationships. Yeah. And then I'll sort of, because the light's changing quite a lot already, yeah. I've probably got another 
20 minutes or so before I'll then rest this, that means I'll put it away and I'll start another painting and I'll kind of work on a different part of the shadow as the light changes. So then tomorrow I'm going to come back and at the same stage where the light is the same and then I'll keep working on it. So the smaller brushwork and the wow. smaller details will come out because you know, I want to get those beautiful urns that we have at the bottom of the right. steps and show something of the entrance of the house and right. you know to really capture this balance between that warm golden light you get in the morning and the coolness of the shadows and the blues and the greens. Mm -hmm. so. Peter got here yesterday and we welcomed him from the UK and we're just so delighted to be able to plan a lot of really wonderful things for a workshop next so, year. As you know, the gardens change week by week here, so it's very important to get to know them at the precise time of year, the amount of flowers, the lighting, everything to best prepare for a painter's paradise. our film equipment together. Hi. Hi. We're so excited to have our future painting instructor here with us. And we're getting to know each other. We're planning a really, really special impressionist painting workshop. And we are having the delightful luxury of getting to shoot a bunch of beautiful, beautiful I know, this film. We've gotten so lucky this past two, three weeks, it's just been pouring and somehow yesterday he arrived and it was, you know, the sky is just clear and it's sunny and it's beautiful and we're managing to get some promotional material today, getting to know each other. He's absolutely wonderful. It feels like a, a really incredible partnership both for the business, personally, for our, our participants and students in the future for it and it feels, it feels right. It does. fresh cool feeling first thing in the morning so I loved how you know it was just the sun was rising and had that warm light coming but it was still wet and had the dew on the floor and it was still very cold so I loved that synergy between kind of that warmth and the coolness coming in and then kind of compared to this afternoon the sun was out and it was that this warm soft glow it wasn't hot like summer but it just has that soft gentle glow um, so I'm going to develop these a little bit further and painting those roses in the rose garden is just so beautiful. To be up close to you can smell that sweet perfume and hear the bees buzzing around. Um, it was great. So I've had a great day. I can't wait to do some more. Until tomorrow. <laughs> Until tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's go eat. <laughs> Here's our chef tonight. The very esteemed Penelope Leach. She presents to us a salmon wellington, like only she knows how to make. Fabulously. It's her specialty. It's her specialty. I saw this recipe on Tasty about four years ago and I have not let it go. <laughs> Please don't ever let it go. I had something to do with this. You did? She's trying to get credit oh, for your salmon. Oh, pretty. You like oh my god, how pretty. So, um, you see, there's artists here everywhere. Oh my god, it is beautiful. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, what I tried to do was make a little frame for it. I can see. It looks great. <laughs> it's, it's a work of art. <laughs> so we can't, we can't eat this, right? We have to eat something else. A long day of work. We're finally feeding Peter. <laughs> they've starved me up until now. Yes, we have. <laughs> oh, Penelope, I feel awful with this. <laughs> oh, I'm going to cut it down. Oh, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
So we're starting to tackle this, what we call the pavilion area in the chateau, which is this sort of area here um, in the landing of the red hallway. Sorry, I'm filming myself so it's not very clear, but this is the red hallway. You come up and then there's two rooms adjoining. And I just brought the beautiful curtains that Rebecca found up here to test if orange and green would be the right color scheme for this bedroom. Because, as you can see behind me, the bathroom is all orange tile, which I don't think we're going to change right now. And I think it would be beautiful to bring that color scheme into the room instead of keeping this blue and green in here, since we have to repaint anyway. So here's the bathroom. As you can see, we have a lot to do in here before our September workshop, mostly having to do with the flooring, which is super unsightly and it smells and it's just not nice. And you can see this pretty orange and cream kind of theme, which I don't mind at all in here. We're just gonna kind of clean up the utilities, the sink. We're also gonna clean up this very ramshackly closet, which has seen better days. Carolina is of a mind to just rip the whole thing out since the doors are so wonky and heavy and broken. And my mom's been living here for a long time and she says the closet's not the most useful. So it might be better to just put a chest of drawers here and call it a day. Anyway, um, this is the beautiful orange kind of vibe. So I think, as you can see back there, orange curtains would really pull that out and be beautiful and then we repaint the walls or wallpaper something either the beautiful mustard color a peach color a green color one of these colors to pull out this color scheme I think a light green might be lovely we'll see we can do some color testing should go get my Faro and ball palette which is my favorite paint colors because they all have some brown in it to make it feel better with you know the the brown palette and the yellow palette kind of goes in historic homes a bit better um so yeah we need to either paint on top of this wallpaper or re-wallpaper and since we're renovating this area anyway in the next few years whatever we do is temporary we are also going to be fixing up this room, especially the floor, because it's quite gross. It's got a lot of stains, a lot of yellowing, not the most pleasant. And frankly, I think the carpet holds a lot of weird odor, but the wallpaper is beautiful. The curtains are beautiful. So we'll just come in here, put a bed, put bedside tables, put lamps and then change the floor. And then what this is gonna be is like a lovely double suite. So this room and that room will share, share a bathroom and this landing is completely private um, because that is the king room here and this door will stay locked and the, that guest will go down the spiral staircase on the other side. So whoever the family or couple is that lives here, it's basically a suite. And the reason it's a suite is because this does not have a bathroom, at least for now, even though one day hopefully it will. But it has this closet, <laughs> which still has this hookah hiding out inside. And on the other side, some of you might remember from Stephanie's original tour of the house, has this quite crafty little sink, but very strangely also a bidet over the carpet. <laughs> so the little funky traits of a very old home that was gradually modified according to the needs of its residents, little by little. So we're gonna ignore that for now, but just kind of make this a suite. And we have to do all that in the next few weeks to be ready for September. So I'm doing a little bit of color research and I'm gonna go tell my mom, see what she thinks, since this is typically her room. But she's very generously moved out 
so that we can renovate and then rent it out to guests. And then she'll move back in for the winter, I think. We're in the northwest part of the property. Uh, there's a big lawn and a slope, and then a, a bit of a, a collection of very mature, very pretty trees. I've been going around these areas of the chateau looking for ivy, some techniques of abating the ivy. One is the concept that ivy that's growing on a healthy, strong, large tree is only really dangerous to the tree if it reaches the canopy and uh, starts absorbing a lot of the light. And particularly if the weight of the ivy uh, competes with the weight of the tree and makes it more susceptible to being blown over during storms. Wow, that's a lot of ivy for these trees. That's a lot, of, but nevertheless, I'm going through to try and remove the ivy from the smaller and medium-sized trees but I did find this perfectly healthy tree here that has quite impressive growth of ivy and I thought I'd tackle it. Very impressive. Oh my gosh, wow. Wowie sowie. I think I'm going to just leave this tree alone, dispose of this, and call it a successful It's project. very pretty. Turn it around. I can make a decoration with that. Look how pretty. You put that on a table. You put candles around it outside. Actually, we should do it for our dinner tomorrow night. So... <clears throat> with candles in between in this holes? Yes. We have so a team going. Keep in mind, of course, the leaves will stay green only for a day or two. No. Ivy then, stays longer. And then, of course, the, the branches or, but trunk or whatever we want to call it will stay this way for a very long time. Actually, that's also very pretty. Just came back from the doctor. I'm going to check up on Carolina. showed you guys oh my god the bathroom has completely changed and looks wonderful She took down the curtains. Oh, it's like the most beautiful view of the whole chateau. Wow. Wow. Okay, so this is early morning. Well, not too early. It's more like 10. But um, I've been told I need to do more filming because I don't get equal amount of airtime because I don't film myself. <laughs> Mostly, I don't show my projects. I sort of work behind the scenes a lot, and I like working alone, so, um, so then I don't show you what I'm doing. I've been working on this door, and I'll turn it around to show you. I just got it sand down, but not very thoroughly because we were gonna have guests really soon. So I wanted to stop and just leave it be for a while. And then I have the edgings to do, which are to the side of the door. We have another door that's very dark. It's actually better than this one, because this is almost black and that's sort of a reddish brown, but I think both would look really pretty if they were the same color. They kind of remind me of, of church doors. Um, so anyway. That's my project today. I don't know how much I'm gonna get accomplished, but hopefully 
it'll be completely sanded. I have I'm not an expert. I actually was taught by a friend um, who helped me sand a, a table before I left to, to live here. We bought a very old table that Roberto and um, Penelope were going to use in our rental house. So I just wanted to make it nice for them and we painted it. It turned out really well. So she's taught me about sanding and uh, painting wood, actually finishing. She's pretty much an expert, my friend Jessie. Anyways, I have my gear, my glasses, my mask. Yep. My glasses. Oh my gloves and I'm ready to go. So ever since we moved in, we've noticed that there's like literal trees growing out of the facade of the chateau and we've been kind of pushing down our anxiety about it and just kind of letting them grow and today is the day that they're going to be removed wow. well for every single night it would be something like that wow how cool How many years do you think? Combien des années est-ce qu'ils ont? Tous les ans, ça, tous les deux, trois ans, il faut les couper. Ah bon? Donc la dernière fois était il y a trois ans? Un petit peu, oui. Et ils sont coupés toujours comme ça? Oui, non, avec une échelle. Personne, personne d'autre, il l'a dit, il l'a dit d'ailleurs. Il m'a dit, je peux pas envoyer mes ouvriers parce qu'ils ne pourront pas monter là-haut. Vous êtes monté? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. C'est un figuier. Tout à fait. Bon, donc ça, après, pousser tous les trois ans. À peu près. Le même... À peu près. Wow. Enfin, s'ils font ce qu'il faut, il ne poussera peut-être pas. Hein. Look, these two, anytime there's a work truck, they hop on it. What is they this? They don't hop on the, our cars. They don't hop on normal cars. They love the work stuff. True. Pisco, are you going to go is with the... the jungle gym for you? Yeah, I think so. Don't get in there. Pisco? No. Pisco. Pisco. No. So, the roofers didn't manage to get their really awesome uh, scissor lift. I don't know if this is a, uh, like a cherry picker. It can't fit through the gate. We actually often have this problem with just, this gate. Like it's like six inches off. <laughs> so there's just no getting this thing into the courtyard without like taking the gate off, which I don't think is worth it right now. Um, so the, the trees that are growing on this side of the facade are just, they're just gonna try and do the best they can by foot so what they're doing right now is just spraying so that it'll try to kill the the plants which i think is great i think they actually managed to like pull one off just from there so and then this these this facade is way better so they've gotten rid of like the really bad one and then what i'm really excited about is we asked them while they're up there to pull off all four satellite dishes these are old, they work, but we don't need them anymore since we've got fiber installed and we get all our TV through fiber. And so we just want them gone, especially so we can shoot beautiful, beautiful drone stuff and have no ugly metal paraphernalia <laughs> sticking up. And then at, while they're up there, they're actually gonna measure all the chimneys so that they can make little um, hats for the chimneys because right now they're open, which is not really to code and it means that rain can just kind of come in and heat goes out and it's just not, not great for our temperature regulation in the winter. There you go, it's a clean chateau. I keep saying I got its eyebrows done, 
Got a little haircut at the top. She looks great. Good job! She said, eat your heart out, Gina Davis. How much do you love it on a scale from one to 10? It's like 10% 10. 10 better looking, which is a sh Oh, you want this? You want this? Woohoo! Julia, Julia, turn around. Le Ram Renoir in the big hardware store, Carolina's favorite store. This is literally the equivalent of Home Depot and Lowe's had a baby, a French baby, and it's <laughs> called Le Ram Merlin. It's magnifique. So we're here looking for stratified floor to put in my mom's room. That's pretty. Really? Yeah, that is pretty. That feels nice. That's actual real <laughs> And it's 20 euro more oh, wow. per square meter. That's beautiful. Oh, I see. It's super expensive. Okay. But I just want to show you what the other option is. Right. So we were looking at 42 euro per square meter, and this is 129 euro per square meter. And we have 65 meters to cover square meters. Mm -hmm. So we do the math and it's pretty expensive, but we'll right. we're, we're we're trying, trying to, to keep this under like trying to keep it under two grand. Like that one? Thirty-nine. Yeah. It's a prettier color than all of them, I think. I I I like this color. Do you think that's too rustic? No. I mean it's like basically the same price as the other one. Go together. Look, there's this one too. Twenty-seven. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, this is difficult. I know, it's a very, very difficult choice. We have to live with this for the next four, four to like five three, years. Yeah, three or four. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty. Right. It really should. How about um, For this one, look at this. For the for the room. Too light? It's 22. That's not bad. It's actually not bad. Here. She's finally varnishing the door. Look how magnificent it looks. This is before. So it has Dry, to sad, and then this is with the stain. It's just absolutely beautiful. The first of three coats. Hello, Troubadour. Baby, look at this. Yeah, I think we chose very well. You chose color. beautifully. I think this is totally what there was before. Before, before, but not Yeah, we time. saw pictures of- It um, was black. Almost old pictures from the 70s and it had this color yeah. and then when and it we had it, it yeah it has it on the inside and i think this is like the perfect chateau color i'm not sure why they chose the really dark i'm thinking that know. might be that it it ate this one away i don't know yeah oh, i'm gonna show from the other side so they can see oh yeah you really have to see it with the stone Wow, it looks so good. Yeah. It looks so good. Uh, wow, so, such a long process it looks here. like when it it looked like in the photo. Close it. Honestly, yeah. that's beautiful. The color, right? Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Wow.
So Pete Watson. Pete Watson, I've known from San Diego. He's a biking friend. We've had many, many really challenging bicycle rides. This is part of my uh, practice of going out on Sunday mornings. And he is really happy that the scheduling, the logistics worked out because he'd been planning to come to France with his wife, Chris, to celebrate his retirement, but he got delayed by COVID. He thought that he should try and see the Tour de France while he was here. And he, of course, thought of me and us and saw that the Tour de France was coming pretty close to the Chateau. So he reached out to me with these ideas and I said, great, and stay at our Chateau for a few nights as part of the Chateau life experience. So enjoy the best of beautiful France. We're going to take him on a country walk. It's, it's such a strong French tradition. It's a 13 kilometer, eight mile walk through the countryside, a big social event that starts a few hours before dusk and finishes a couple hours after dusk. This is our walking group this year. We have Peter and Chris from San Diego, good friends of the family here. And it's about 7, 10, 7, 15, and we're heading to saint sur no, saint jutory saint jutory ready? Everyone's got their hiking gear ready to go. And Troubadour is coming with us this year. Okay, we made it. It's very busy, but here we are. There's so many dogs for And there's so many dogs for Troubadour. She didn't get to come last year, but this year she's here. Uh, voila. Petit show. Petit show. Un mois. Oui. Oui, bonjour. Bonjour. All right, we've reached the entree. Bob is looking forward to the entree. This looks like a, the beginnings of a musical cast in the Midwest. <laughs> people are dancing around. Not too far off. Okay, hello. Hi. I just been joined by Penelope. And I want to show you the fields behind me, wheat. And then I turn around. Look at that sign. I don't know. It, the sun doesn't show up. It disappears. No, it's right there. Oh, Here. it's tiny. Boop. There we go. There it is. <laughs> it's like a ripe tomato. <laughs> anyway. It's like it, a cherry tomato. Look at, look at that sky. Wow. How's your walk going? Year two. It's good. Year two is good. It's treating us well. 65 minutes in. 400 calories burned. That means we've burned off two bottles of two glasses of rosé. <laughs> two bottles. Two bottles. Two glasses. In your dreams. In my dreams. Yeah, last year we were a little scared. We were scared. We were shy. 
They were lovely. We were just scared. We're just shy. And then it's so lovely to see your dad here. And your he's mom opening here. up. He's chatting. They're yeah. asking him about his bicycling friend. Aww. It's so cute. No, it's super. It's, it's a completely different feeling. To feel this feeling of like coming back to things. Yeah. And feeling comfortable. Yeah. midnight it's midnight and we arrived holy wow so we left at eight o'clock four hours well worth it well worth it we made it troubadour 